morning. I'm Brian Parks. I'm here at Belimo headquarters in Danbury, Connecticut. Today, I've got Jeff Upright from Belimo Technical Support, and he's going to talk about a few things regarding the Belimo Characterized Control Valve, or the CCV. Jeff? Thank you, Brian. We're going to do uh, two demonstrations today. We're going to do the pin removal for our CCV linkages, as well as replacing an old generation AF series with a new generation AFB series. The tools that I'm going to be using today are a pair of needle nose pliers, a flat blade screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. What we're going to do is I have one part here. It's a linkage kit for the new generation AF. This is a WAF-4. The parts included are a mounting plate, stem adapter, two C-clips, a position indicator, and a retaining ring for the position indicator. The kit also comes with an M5 screw and an M4 screw. Now the M5 screw is for pre-2011 characterized control valve bodies, and the M4 is for post-2011 valve bodies. If you ever have a question as to what year the valve body that you're working on, simply take the screw and try to thread it into the valve stem. So the pin removal, here we have a valve body, a characterized control valve body. You'll notice that we have three grooves on the stem and one of the corners is notched slightly. These grooves will show the valve position. When the valve, when the grooves are with the pipe, that means that the valve is open, as you can see. The new generation valve body has the three grooves as well as the notched corner, but you'll notice now the notch is deeper. The problem that we have is when we take an actuator, this is an LR series actuator, and we try to mount it to the, let's say the old generation valve body, the screw will not engage. You can see the gap right here. What needs to be done is, if you look in the stem adapter, in one of the corners, you'll notice a silver pin. Using a flat bladed screwdriver, there's a lip on the pin, and you can extract the pin. Once the pin is removed, you can discard. What, will, uh, what that does is that will let the actuator mount flush to the valve, and the screw will now engage. The pin is in the LR, the AR, and the AFR linkages, just like so. The pin will, will need to be removed if you're using a new actuator on a pre-2011 valve body. It does not have to be removed if you're using a newer valve body. Now the next demonstration we're going to do is we're going to retrofit or replace an old generation AF series with the new generation AFR series for the characterized control valve. What we need to do is we need to figure out how we want our valve. So for this, we're going to have for this demonstration, we're going to use normally closed, fail closed. So again, in the earlier demonstration, I touched, I went over the grooves. So for normally closed, the grooves are going to be going against the pipe or against the valve. The valve is going to be closed. In the fail position, that's going to be part of the actuator. On the face of the actuator, you'll notice that we have FC and FO. This stands for fail open and fail closed. So whatever side is facing up, 
that's going to be the function that the actuator will take. So for this, we're going to be using the fail close type. So to install the linkage, you want to take first your mounting plate. You notice that it has two posts. The actuator has two holes on the side. You want to line up the post, insert it so the posts come out. You want to take your C-clip. You're going to attach the mounting plate, secure that to the actuator. You then want to take your position indicator ring. You want to put this on the outside of the spline. You want to have it so the pointer is pointing down. You want to take your retaining clip. There's a groove on the spline that the retaining ring will lock the position indicator into place. Last but not least, you want to take your stem adapter, insert that into the spline. You want to have it so the pointer is pointing at 3 o'clock. What you want to do now is you take your sub-assembly. You'll notice that the plate has four bits. These four bits are going to line up with the four holes on the valve flange. And if you line up the bits and your stem adapter, it will drop onto the valve body. We're going to use the M4 screw because this is a post 2011 valve body. That's going to be placed inside your stem adapter. And you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to engage it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please call Belimo Tech Support at 1 800 543 9038, or you can visit us on www.belimo.us. Hey, Jeff, some great training today. Thanks for your time. Please subscribe to the Belimo YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, please leave any comments that you have below. Thanks again.